The original digital gangster hacked into multiple international government and corporate networks. You're a published mathematician. Now you develop cyber weapons. You seem to be like the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the hacking community. What kind of programming were you doing at age four? In computer hacking, like War Games had come out, I think, the year I was born, which is a movie about a kid who's breaking into uh, government systems. Are you one of these geniuses that we read about? I had a university jump box and what it would do is it would tunnel into AOL's internal network, and then it also had an outgoing connection that we could connect to, and then it would basically get us into the local area network of America Online. Welcome. You've got mail. There was a lot more you could do with phone systems and computers back then. There was absolutely no compensating controls. Did you also hack FAA, DCAA, NATO, Colorado Springs Police Department, Texas Department of Public Safety, Honda, Nissan, and AT&T? Am I missing anything? I'm sure you are, but it was a, it was a, a crime spree. How uh, old were you when you are hacking these? Uh, 17, 16, 17. 16 years old and you're hacking NASA. Yeah. Okay, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. I'm Houston, I've always been insanely patriotic. Love my country, fear my government type kind of guy. The well, I mean, you did expose a vulnerability. Some of your buddies that you were hacking with, like, I think you mentioned him, uh, somebody named Glitch. Yeah, Glitch. Do you know these people? I've never met Glitch in my life. Do all hackers have a call sign or code name or? Yeah, that generally we know each other. We're calling handles. I need a handle, man. I mean, I don't have an identity until I have a handle. November 23rd, 1999. Oh um, man, you remember the exact <laughs> well, day. That was like what caught the attention of mainstream media. Yeah, this one everywhere, correct? Yeah, I, it was on Wired, CNN, Fox. Uh, it, it got pretty big. Cybercrime seems to be how some people, particularly juveniles, feel important. For Whitey Cracker, a 17-year-old dropout, this meant compromising and defacing multiple websites. Kids like us, you know, we go out every day, we have fun, and then we come home and rule the world. Hack the planet! Hack the planet! Yeah! Hack the planet! You ever notice in the news that if there's a story that you happen to know, like kind of what really happened, that none of it matches, but you read another article about something you have no idea about, you're like, oh, okay. He came to the attention of DCIS when he illegally accessed a defense contract management agency web server. Once inside, he replaced DCMA information with text and graphics in which he bragged about his exploits. We had a, this um, legendary attack against Iranian's nuclear weapons program called Stuxnet. Stuxnet. I don't know if you're familiar with with that. Two answers before you even get started. I don't know, and if I did, we wouldn't talk about it anyway. It was a joint Israeli-U.S. operation, and we were able to get malware on their in their enrichment plants that uh, it set their nuclear program back a number of years. And these systems, they weren't connected to the internet in any way. They're air gap. And so they had to infiltrate, get somebody to actually install this stuff on. But in order to build something like that, you need to kind of have a, be able to emulate that environment. It's not something that a teenager could probably do in their basement. These systems themselves, it's not like you can buy 
but it's not above a state level actor, you know, to afford these things. I mean, that's just a, it's a rounding mm -hmm. error in a budget somewhere. Uh, so that's where it becomes this arms race where obviously we are trying to secure our devices and we need to get these things patched. The miner responsible for the defacements was soon identified and agents began to build their case. Whitey Cracker knew they were on to him. Detective DeHart told me that they had a 314 page case report on the whole thing and I was just like, that's huge. The 17 year old suspect eventually confessed to one count of computer crime under Colorado law. Barack Obama's Twitter got hacked. To control Barack Obama's Twitter account, they were tweeting out uh, gas card affiliate links. He was like, hey, yeah, Barack Obama was like, get, a, get your free gas card, you know, here at this link. <laughs> Ryan, you on here? Yeah, I'm here. Welcome back to the show, man. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. 